What is up, fellow musicians? Matt Vanacoro here with my friends at Gig Performer, and I am really excited to share my top tips for using Gig Performer to set up a MIDI controller for organ sounds. We're going to dive into two areas. We're going to look at getting some organ draw bars up on the screen, as well as mapping organ draw bars to your physical MIDI controller if you are lucky enough to have one that has the nine draw bars. So if you want to go deeper with controlling plugin parameters, we've got a great video on widgets on this channel that you can check out right here. Let's get started. So I'm going to open up this rack space here. And if you take a look, I've got this instrument B3 from Arturia. And it's a great instrument, sounds really nice. And a lot of parameters are already mapped. So a lot of these different companies um, use some kind of standard mapping and they know what the most common ones are. This is an Arturia MIDI controller, so it works really well with an Arturia uh, software instrument. If I flip up the old modulation wheel, I get my fast rotary sound. But if I move the draw bars on this controller, you're going to see they're already mapped. So I didn't really have to do anything. They just worked automatically because I happen to be using this Arturia controller and the Arturia instrument. And Arturia is not the only company that does that. So you might want to try and just see where your automatic mapping is before you even get uh, you know, into remapping this stuff. Because sometimes it automatically lines up. But a lot of times it doesn't. So let's take a look at there. So now I'm going to open up one of my favorites uh, in UVI Workstation, B5 Organ. This is a great, great organ sound. Very realistic, but the mapping is not automatic. I start moving stuff and nothing is happening. But that's okay because I want to set up everything on the front panel anyway. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set up some stuff on the front panel. I'm going to open up the panel and I'll click on the editor to open up the panel editor. Now down at the bottom I've got all these different widgets. I'm going to go for a drawbar one. Now here's a little secret tip. You're going to drag a drawbar on the screen but before you let go of the mouse button you're going to hold down the 9 key and it's going to drop nine widgets automatically automatically spaced out well and you'll notice automatically colored correctly so i've got those nine widgets set up and what i can do is i can make it so that every single one of them responds to my midi controller so i click on it i click on midi and i'm just going to learn the midi assignment i tap learn and i move a midi controller look at that now before i tap learn again to get out of learn mode i can actually just tap on the next one and learn the next one. So you can learn these assignments very quickly. It doesn't take a long time. All right. So there we go. If I move these first three, they're moving. And you'll notice that it's very, very responsive. It's super smooth. So everything is going well there. So now my MIDI controller is controlling those screen controls. But I want those screen controls to be connected to the plugin parameters. And that's the next thing I'm going to have to do is enable host automation on the plugin. So I go to the wiring screen. I'm going to open up UVI Workstation. I click on the first thing that I want to enable host automation for. And I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to choose, see this host automation thing. And I'm going to make that host automation one. All right. Let's do it with just the first three. We don't need to do everything today, but we'll do the first three. So you'll notice it's calling it upper manual drawbar two. So it's taking that plugin parameter and making it public to the world so that Gig Performer can control it. So now that those three are enabled for host automation, I go back to the editor. If I click on this first one and I go to the plugin mapping over here, I choose UVI Workstation and I click host automation one and I'll do the same thing with the next one. I'll go to UVI Workstation and we'll make that upper manual drawbar two. You'll see by the time I've clicked on it, it's already populated it with its actual name, which is nice. So I'll go to UVI Workstation, Upper Manual Drawbar 3. So when you start doing those, you can assign them to anything. You'll see I've only got three mapped right now. As I go down and map more, I can have access to more. But that's it. That's all you have to do. So now if I go to the panel screen and I start pulling these, you'll hear that they adjust the sound individually. Now you might notice, hey, wait a minute backwards. I'm pulling it out and pushing it in. That's okay. So if your plugin um, reads that data backwards, it's really easy to go to the editor, click on any one of these, all right, and go to value. And from there, all you have to do is reverse right there. 
So you reverse the value. You're basically inverting it. A lot of plugins let you do that on the screen as well. But if you have to do it on the front of gig performer panel, you can do that as well. So now when I pull them out, louder as it should be. And when I push one in, it goes away. And the great thing is that this is mapped, and if I change organ plugins, my mapping of my physical MIDI controller is still connected to those drawbars. All I need to do is go in and connect the drawbars to the new plugin host automation. So I don't have to redo everything if I wind up changing something. And since those are connected, uh, the opposite might be true. Since those are connected to the plugin, if I change keyboards, Gig Performer does a great job of automatically mapping new things. So in some cases, you won't even have to map it yourself. You can use the rig manager to automatically switch the mapping over for you without having to go in and do every little thing. So Gig Performer really has you covered for all of that. So it's really awesome. So listen, we've got a two week trial. You can try this out without any risk. Just download it, give it a shot, and see if you can map your organ and set it up the way you like it. You can also check out the favorites video so you only have to do this once. You can save an organ setup as a favorite and then just pop it up every time you want it. Um, or you could check out the Global Rackspace video if you want to have one keyboard, separate one, be an organ for your entire show while your patch is on a different keyboard change. Very flexible.